Since Dave Rubin is no longer a libtard cuck, he is espousing the same exact talking points as you'd expect any right winger to espouse. So of course, you know, he is right in line with their idiocy when it comes to COVID-19. And he's not just promoting this idea that the pandemic isn't as serious as the scientists or the libs say it is. But actually, we, sh we should do no lockdowns, ease all restrictions, allow people to dine indoors at full capacity and not wear masks. And the way that he proves that it's not that bad is by sharing his experience dining indoors in Florida, I think, where he was in this restaurant with lots of old people and this bizarre encounter with an old lady that he had supposedly proves that the pandemic isn't as serious as the experts are saying it is. I don't know why he chose to share this experience. Nonetheless, um, I guess, enjoy. You know, we're, we're sitting in this restaurant and my sister's got two young kids and they're, they're just great and we're having a ball. And this elderly couple, Florida, it's a lot of old people. And despite all the old people, by the way, the second oldest uh, populace in the United States, their, their uh, mortality numbers are way down, even though they kept everything open, although mainstream media doesn't seem to want to talk about that. Anyway, there's a lot of old people in Florida. There's a lot of old people having dinner. This very elderly couple, I would say these two were probably between 85 and 90. They come up to the table and they're telling, oh, the kids are so great. That's so great. You're on vacation. Where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. And the woman points to my nephew and she's standing right behind me. She starts pointing to my nephew and says, oh, you're so cute. And as she's saying it, I turn around and she stuck her finger like right in my mouth. And like, it was an old woman. She couldn't move very quick. And I was kind of, and she like literally got like, oh, and, like, oh, and all over saliva dripping all over her finger. You know, there wasn't much taste to it. She was very old. There wasn't like a lot of juice or anything on the finger. Anyway, I just thought it was hilarious that I end up, not only do I go to a restaurant in Florida, I had the uh, Parmesan crusted sea bass, quite delicious by the way, although I ate mostly grouper throughout the week. But not only did I go to a restaurant, I survived, but then an elderly woman actually stuck her finger in my mouth. And, and guess what? Everybody's okay. As far as I know, she's okay. I didn't trade numbers with her, but I think she's okay. <laughs> What the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Checkmate, liberals. The pandemic isn't that serious. He just disproved COVID-19, guys. <laughs> I don't know where to begin. I have a lot of questions to ask, though. Why was this encounter so long? Like, it wasn't just like a... oh jabbed you in the mouth there like she was like hooking her mouth <laughs> and she like she like um you deep throated her finger like <laughs> i don't get it like how long did this last like was her, was her <laughs> was her finger in your mouth for like five seconds ten seconds uh, oh uh, oh and all over saliva. I don't believe that this happened. Or if it did happen, perhaps he's embellishing. I don't know why you would want to embellish a story like this. Like, look, if I'm at a restaurant and for whatever reason, I turn around and an old lady inserts her finger down my throat, I'm not going to share that story with anyone, uh, let alone with my uh, audience of millions of viewers, because that's weird, it's cringeworthy, it's embarrassing, that's something that you keep to yourself. But he's using this to prove a point about how the pandemic isn't actually that serious, because this lady who he didn't contact since is fine after she stuck her finger in his dirty mouth. And apparently, it's also further proof that the pandemic isn't as serious as everyone claims because there was a lot of old people at this restaurant dining indoors. Okay, well, they're irresponsible. And if you're old and you're dining indoors and nobody's wearing masks because, I mean, how can you eat with a mask? Then you're just fucking stupid. That doesn't disprove the seriousness of the pandemic. That proves how irresponsible these old people are to endanger their own lives just for the convenience of eating indoors when you could easily get takeout or do drive through or have something delivered to your home. Like, I, I don't get how this is supposed to disprove the seriousness of COVID-19. We just surpassed 500,000 deaths. And this dipshit is saying, well, it's not that serious because um, I deep-throated an old lady's finger. <laughs> 
<laughs> what like goes through your head to think that this is going to be persuasive? What made him think, you know what, I have to share this story because this is going to prove once and for all to these goddamn liberals that this pandemic isn't that serious. So watch me like explain how there's this 15 second encounter where this old lady like hooked my my mouth and uh, with her finger and she like stuck her finger in the back of my throat. I just, what do we do? Like, where do we go from here? How do we move on from this? This is so weird. <laughs> I have to watch the clip one more time. And she stuck her finger. <laughs> like right in my mouth and like it was an old woman she couldn't move very quick and i was kind of and she like literally got like oh and like oh and all over saliva Wet. dripping all over her finger there are so many questions so many questions that i want to ask to dave rubin um he blocked me on twitter so unfortunately i can't ask him these questions but um yeah, this is a good place to end the show. Permanently, perhaps. <laughs> if this doesn't demonstrate the stupidity of American politics, nothing else does. It doesn't prove that uh, COVID-19 isn't as severe as he wants it to, but it does definitely illustrate how stupid American politics, particularly the right in America, uh, has uh, gotten over the years. And she stuck her finger right in my mouth. Quite delicious. You know, there wasn't much taste to it. She was very old. Not a beta male. Saliva dripping all over her finger.